Have you ever wondered about the native peoples who called the American Southwest home for thousands of years before Europeans arrived? What were their cultures and traditions like? How did they adapt and thrive in such an unforgiving desert landscape? Welcome back to the Archeo Trek. In today's video, we're going to transport back in time to learn about the top 10 most fascinating indigenous cultures that evolved in the American Southwest region of the United States. These tribes and pueblos developed amazing ways of life that were perfectly adapted to the challenges of their environment. So without further ado, let's jump right in and start counting down our picks for the top 10 indigenous cultures of the American Southwest. Kicking off our list at number 10 are the ancestral Puebloans. Also known as the Anasazi, this culture emerged around 100 BCE in the Four Corners region where Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico meet. The ancestral Pueblones were excellent engineers and architects, building intricate towns and cliff dwellings like the famous Cliff Palace at Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. They also developed complex irrigation and farming techniques to thrive in the arid environment. At their peak, over 100,000 ancestral Puebloans may have lived in the Southwest. While their origins remain uncertain, many modern Puebloan groups consider the ancestral Puebloans their ancestors. Next up at number nine are the Hopi tribe, who have continuously lived in Northeastern Arizona for over 2,000 years. Descended from ancient Puebloan peoples, the Hopi have retained much of their traditional culture and religion despite European contact. The Hopi are renowned for their exquisite pottery intricate kachina dolls representing spiritual beings, and their elaborate ceremonial dances and rituals. The Hopi language is one of the few Native American languages still spoken in the United States today. The Hopi way of life strongly revolves around their spiritual beliefs and deep connections to the land. Our number eight spot goes to the Zuni people of Western New Mexico. Like the Hopi, the Zuni are Puebloan descendants who have preserved many aspects of their ancient culture. Zuni art is highly admired for its masterful pottery, jewelry, and fetish carvings of animals. Zuni belief systems are centered around the worship of the Earth Mother and Sky Father, and their unique ceremonies blend both indigenous and Catholic traditions. The Zuni language is distinct from other Puebloan tongues and remains widely spoken today. Now, on to number seven, the Navajo, or Dine People. With over 300,000 enrolled members, the Navajo Nation is the largest federally recognized tribe in the United States. Originally hunter-gatherers from Northwest Canada, the Navajo migrated south and settled throughout Northeastern Arizona, Northwestern New Mexico, and Southeastern Utah. They adopted many Puebloan agricultural practices and weaving styles, creating their iconic hand-woven rugs with distinctive geometric designs. Navajo spirituality focuses on maintaining harmony and balance through rituals, sand paintings, and ceremonies. The Navajo also devised the only Native American code talker system used in World War I and II. Sliding into the number six spot are the Apache tribes, who arrived in the Southwest in the 1500s from Alaska and Western Canada. The Apache were nomadic hunter-gatherers and later equestrian warriors who fiercely resisted Spanish and American expansion. There are several Apache bands, like the Kirikawa, Jicarilla, and Mescalero tribes. Apache tribes are renowned for their superior military skills and guerrilla warfare tactics. Apache warriors like Geronimo became legends resisting American conquest of the Southwest. While fiercely independent, Apache bands also formed alliances when necessary, like Victorio's alliance with the famous Comanche chief Quana Parker. Today, Apache descendants keep their culture alive through language programs, schools, and cultural events. Now we come to our number five entry, the Pueblo peoples. The Pueblo peoples comprise several modern tribes descended from ancient cliff-dwelling cultures like the ancestral Puebloans. There are 19 different Pueblos in New Mexico and three in Arizona today. Each Pueblo has its own unique traditions and languages like Caris, Tawa, and Tewa. However, they share cultural elements like farming, storytelling, pottery, kachina dolls, and architecture. Puebloan communities are centered around large plazas flanked by adobe houses. Kivas or underground chambers hold spiritual ceremonies. The Pueblo peoples uphold ancient knowledge passed down from their forebears through oral traditions and customs that remain deeply significant. In slot number four are the Caris tribes who speak the Carisan languages. There are seven Caris Pueblos in central New Mexico, the Acoma, Cochiti, Laguna, San Felipe, Santa Ana, Zia, and Kiwa tribes. The Caris have lived in the Rio Grande Valley for thousands of years. 
They lead rich ceremonial lives guided by seasons, solstices, and equinoxes. Vibrant Keris pottery reflects spiritual symbols and natural elements. Keris oral histories tell tales going back centuries that instruct new generations. Modern Keris artists and storytellers keep ancestral traditions alive while evolving their crafts for new audiences. The Keris languages remain the primary mode of communication for many Keris Pueblo communities. Making our top three at number three are the Tewa people of northern New Mexico. The six Tewa Pueblos of San Juan, Santa Clara, San Ildefonso, Nambe, Powake, and Tisuque share the common Tewa tongue. Introduced by Spanish colonists in the 1600s, the Tewa adopted sheep herding alongside their traditional farming. Tewa artists are renowned for their scraffito pottery with black geometric designs etched into burnished clay. Tewa culture prizes community responsibility and restoration. In recent times, Tewa leaders have spearheaded sustainability initiatives to restore ancient dryland farming practices that are ideally suited to the Mesa's arid environment. This revival of traditional agriculture aims to nurture the land and community for the future. The Tewa view themselves as stewards of their homeland. At Tewa pueblos like San Ildefonso, tribal administration, ceremonies, and daily life still center around speaking Tewa. Regular feasts strengthen cultural identity and social bonds. Through both tradition and adaptation, the Tewa continue to sustain their way of life. In our second place spot are the Tiwa people of central New Mexico and Texas. The two Tiwa pueblos of Taos and Isleta lie on opposite sides of the Sandia Mountains. While separated geographically, they share ethno-linguistic roots. The Tiwa languages are isolated and unrelated to other Puebloan tongues. The Tiwa were early adopters of silversmithing in the 18th century and still craft sought after silver jewelry. From plain style war dances to corn dances celebrating harvest, Tiwa rituals merge both Hispanic and native influences. Despite the pressure to assimilate over centuries, the Taiwa continue community traditions in their native languages. And finally, in our number one spot, the Tawa people take our top honor. The single Tawa Pueblo of Jemez lies 60 miles northwest of Albuquerque. Oral traditions trace the Tawa's origins to the Mesa Verde cliff dwellings in southern Colorado. The Tawa revolted against Spanish missionaries in 1623 and preserved their native customs and religious practices. Traditional medicine men, or Hatali'i, oversee spiritual healing ceremonies. Tawa farmers grow the famed Jemez blue maize along with beans, squash, and chili peppers. Renowned Tawa painters like Michael Cabote create Holt, and Josani Smith's heroic paintings and murals depict figures from oral folklore. Well into the 20th century, Tawa families spoke the Tawa language at home, conducted ceremonies, and passed down ancient knowledge. Elders and language programs actively work to keep their heritage vital for younger generations of Tawa children. This emphasis on maintaining their culture has been crucial to their resilience. From ancient cliff dwellers to modern maize farmers, these native peoples shape the landscape and cultural identity of this region. Their technologies, trails, traditions, and tongues tell the deeper story of human resilience on these ancestral lands. What other Southwest native cultures would you add to this list? Let me know in the comments. If you learned something new, hit the like button and share this video so others can appreciate the Southwest's native heritage. Don't forget to subscribe to the Archaeotrek for more explorations of the people, places, and cultures that make the American Southwest so incredibly unique. See you on the next adventure.